Why, hello there. This is Garrett from How I Art. And today I'm going to be drawing some hands from photo references. The, the main purpose of this video was is that actually while working on other things, I noticed that you know some of my hand drawing poses were, were pretty weak. And the only way to really get better is to practice. <laughs> uh, for a long time, I did not use references or photo material. And I tried to draw everything out of my head tried to be honestly I tried to be like my own reference material just in my brain for some reason I thought it would make me better if I could if I didn't use any kind of reference and I only drew from my imagination uh, I feel like it it more held me back than anything as far as getting better in the future and uh, now I, I really don't understand how I even justified that <laughs> can uh, it was, I guess it was just more being like vain or just silly or something like that. Uh, because now I am definitely not afraid to uh, open up Google or to pull out a camera phone or a camera and just go ahead and snap a few pictures, take a couple references, go look in a mirror, just do anything. Uh, <laughs> now it's like the more the better. Uh, but again, then again, it's like, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you can't be afraid to like cheat at times. Especially when you know you're trying to make something look right. Uh, I remember in the past, whenever I'd be drawing, I would get to points in my pictures where I would I would get stuck, like I couldn't draw something right, so I ended up like erasing it, and then I would draw it again, and like it wouldn't be right again, and then I would erase it, and I would draw it again, and like I would just get so frustrated, I would get so burned out that I would like ultimately I would like just lose all hope. And I, I remember just being just so over, like overwhelmed and so frustrated that I remember like at times I would almost just stop drawing for periods of time because I felt like I would never ever get any better or I felt that what I was trying to do was impossible. And, you, you know, whenever we hit these walls, whenever you hit or like, you know, whenever I hit the walls, it's, it's easy to give up. It's easy to quit. It's easy to walk away. But like in at the end of the day, the reality was is that like, Drawing was my passion, and drawing has been my passion for a long time. And you know, learning not to just become overwhelmed or become so frustrated that you know we can't get better. Because like learning, learning to get better is is about putting in the work. It's about continuing to try. It's about it's honestly about not quitting. Uh, I was listening to some stuff recently and they were saying, uh, you know, drawing is a skill, you know, and I think everyone pretty much agrees with that. And uh, the person I was listening to was saying, you know, as, as far as like, because he was saying he was teaching people how to draw, the idea that if you, if you do the work, if you put the work in, that you will get better. And it's trusting the process. It's trusting that like, you know, yeah, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to draw these hand references. And, you know, they're not going to be amazing drawings. But believing that just doing this and drawing like this will actually make make me a better artist, will actually make me draw better. I, I know it, it may sound ridiculous. And, uh, you know, I talk to people all the time, uh, especially about drawing and, like, art stuff. And, like, like everyone's like, oh, no, I, I can't do it. No, it's impossible. And I'm like, you know... It's like they just believe that for whatever reason that like because you can draw well that you've always been able to draw well. And and that's not true. And the reality is that we all start off at the same level. We all start like I remember when I was a kid and I started drawing like when I was in kindergarten and I was I was trying to draw like a picture of a dog. And you know, at the time yeah, I, I practiced and practiced and practiced and I ended up drawing it and everyone was really impressed. I mean, I'm sure if we all went back now and looked at it, it would look like complete crap. But that's to be expected. That's exactly how these things work out, ultimately, is that like we, we're not going to get any better if we always if we're always limited to the to the to the moment. Uh, so, yeah, this is mainly me just encouraging Everyone out there who may be watching this video or people out there who, you know, scrolling through YouTube for tutorials or anything like that, that it's like, yeah, it's really good to watch these tutorials. It's good to be inspired. But ultimately, there's got to be a time where you, you, you know, you turn off the video, you open your sketch pad, 
or you open your drawing program or whatever you have and, and you just draw. I mean, but drawing can be very therapeutic. It gives you time away from everything, away from all the chaos that we generally deal with in our lives. But, you know, the reason I mainly reason I, I kind of started this whole channel was is that, you know, I wanted to show my art. I wanted it to get out there. But I also wanted to kind of be able to connect with the communities out there and connect with people. So if you have any questions or would like to say anything, go ahead and leave a comment at the bottom of this video and let me know what y'all are thinking. And uh, I would love to, to hear more people's opinion or hear other people's stories. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe down at the bottom. And I'll catch you guys later.